you know, trying to seed the nether with two chunks is almost pointless. Hey everybody, what's up? Hola, como estas? Ni hao, hi, hello, vi, welcome in, periods, bonjour, konnichiwa, uh, guten tag, Captain Hook 5150 here, back with day six, episode seven, a maze hardcore challenge. It's lost in the fog, and, uh, well, we're pretty foggy anyway. So, uh, last, whoa, hey dude, uh, what do you think you're doing? My, my, my buddy. Okay. Last episode, we made ourselves another portal, obviously. And in this episode, uh, we didn't get a chance to really explore a whole lot in the nether, so I want to kind of do that this episode. Uh, I could make a golden carrot, I suppose. I don't really know what else. Make yourself at home, dude. Sure. All right. Whatever, my dude. Um... Can a... I don't remember if it's nuggets or ingots. I think it's nuggets. But we'll see here. Quick enough, and it's not that. Okay. At least I think you can make a golden carrot. I'm pretty sure I've done it before. Yeah, I can make it. Okay, so I don't really know what that does for me. Too bad you can't make a golden potato. Um, <laughs> so uh, Windows didn't update. And if something is screwed up, I'm blaming, win blaming Windows. I had to reset. I don't know why, what's going on with my eyes this morning. Um, I had to reset my settings in my recording program because it went back to defaults, which is fantastic. Um, good thing I didn't start recording because you wouldn't have been able to hear any of this. And I don't know if it reset my defaults. Uh, default graphics card because I'm not getting very high FPS uh, compared to what I was on Friday's episode. So, it is not something that I did for a change. It's Windows being Windows. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. This is... This is very dangerous. Uh, especially... With how I operate. <laughs> um, we're kind of like up here on an island, aren't we? Is there like nothing? This could be... I don't... What kind of rock is that? It's the Rock of Gibraltar. Okay, well... Is this just... I've... Never seen that before. Can I mine it? Will it hurt me? If I pick it up, am I dead? Probably. I don't know. Should we find out? Um, I'm afraid to step on it. So let's see. This is a magma block, huh? Okay, this must be something new. I still don't know if I can step on it. So, I'm assuming if I put so many of these together, I can make something. It tells you I have not really been keeping up with all the updates on Minecraft. So, I bet if I, like, smelt these or something, I could do something cool with them. I'd be willing to bet. Of course, people out there that have been keeping up with the updates are like, Dude, how do you not know this? And I apologize. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I say, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so we can't stand on it. Found that out. We lost one. How many do I have? I have 19 of them. Okay, so let's just make an even number so that if we, if we need like 8, we got even, so we need 24, right? How many is that? 25. We'll grab 27 just in 
case. Okay, there we go. Now, we probably can't do anything with these. That would be my luck. Okay. So, we came out. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, let's make a trail. So, actually, we're not even going to need a trail, I don't think. Oh, this goes farther than what I thought. We can probably go up. Let's put down some blocks here. We don't know what time it is in the nether, so I'm going to have to be cognizant of this. Can we find something cool? Something... Um, not that way. Okay, so let's pick up this torch. Because we don't want to go that way. Um, we'll just come back over this way. And maybe go up. Yeah, we'll go up. So, since... I should probably put my timer on just because I don't know how long. Uh, okay, we'll start 10 minutes and then we'll go back. Harley, no, please. This is, this is very, very delicate stuff. Now, I have died in the nether before many times, especially on hardcore challenges because I don't know if, you've, if you guys have noticed this, or if it's just me, that when you dig into, like, netherrack and there's lava on the other side, lava moves really, really fast in the nether. Or is this just me? Does that only happen to me? I don't know. The physics of lava in the nether are, uh, I think, different than what they are in the overworld. Getting a decent amount of experience, so... It'd be great if I had uh, an enchanting table. <laughs> I could probably make one, except I don't have any sugar. And it's kind of hard to find sugar when you can only see for two chunks. <laughs> okay, I've been going up quite a ways here. Is there, like, nothing up here? Um, let's kind of level it out here, and we'll just... Okay, we hear gassed. So there's got to be I'm having PTSD from previous times in another getting Ooh. Do we have another we have, I don't really want to waste an iron pickaxe in the nether but whatever Okay so I don't know why I thought I'd be able to see anything <laughs> this was interesting. Um, so, let's continue to go up then. Let's just back up here. There we go. I'm hoping that there's a slight chance that I could get lucky and run into a, another fortress. But, I'm, I mean, if I don't run into it, literally, there's no way I'm going to find it. With this small of a render distance, so. I think I'm too f Let's see, I don't know how far I am up. But, I mean, the, probably the easiest way to find one is if I can, like, stay close to the lava. Because all the other fortresses go down to the lava, if I remember right. Unless they change that. Probably wrong about that, too. Um, so we're, like, halfway in, and we gotta be. And I haven't said Happy Monday, so Happy Monday you guys had a great weekend hello whoa uh my mouse just kind of decided to do its own thing here that's a bad deal 
I can't really see anything. This is almost pointless. There's some soul sand. I'm afraid of my mouse just being wacky and doing what it wants again. That was scary. So let's come over here. Something got my cat excited. So we got, ooh, we got a couple of different types. We got a red mushroom and a brown mushroom. So that's exciting, huh? Kind of. Let's put a torch down. Yeah. There's really nothing I want. This is so hard when you're used to. Oops. Render distance of much more, much more higher than two, a greater distance than two, and it's then you get this, and it's just like, oh my god, I can't see anything. It's frustrating. I'm like trying to turn my thing so that I can see more, and it's not. <sighs> Not really helping me out as much as I was hoping. But yeah, this is just, I don't know. It's, I'm <laughs> trying so hard, it got so far. But in the end, that would be something. If you got to the end with this render distance, I don't know how you'd fare against the. Uh, Ender Dragon. That would be... That would... There we go. So, we're gonna go back, um, because this is pointless. We made a nice, a, a nice effort. Oh, there's a squirrel in my backyard. My cat's, like, excited about it. So, we made a nice effort trying to find another fortress. Uh, it's very hard to do so. <laughs> I mean, it can be hard enough with uh, 32 render distance. You put it down to two, and it's just like, unless unless you spawn, you get a really lucky spawn. I don't know how you're going to find one. So let's go back home and see what we can do. I could probably, oh, there's some glowstone. Can I... Grab the glowstone. I like glowstone. Come on. Oh, of course I need to go this way. Come on. Well, we'll do it this way then. Uh, okay. I really don't want to push it. I really don't want to push my luck. Oops. Okay, well this is close enough. We'll be able to get some anyway. Maybe not, really? So, can I... Well, we can do it this way, then. If it doesn't want to cooperate... More than one way to get glowstone. Do I have... I don't have any inventory space! Why didn't I look at that before? No wonder I wasn't catching any of it. Good lord. Sometimes, sometimes it's a Monday, and you're like, yep. All right. I don't think. Let's not push our luck any further. 
Um, there we go. That's good enough for me. You know, let's just head on back before we die. Before my mouse decides it wants to move on its own again. And move me right off into the lava. Because that would be something that would... Uh, be a new way to die for me. <clears throat> Should probably be getting pretty close to uh, daytime anyway. Pretty close. Okay, so let's see. Can we put, do we have to smelt this stuff down? Okay, we can't do anything like that. What about like this? No. Okay, then what about just one? No? All right. So let's see. Um, can we fire it up? No. Well, let me cancel my timer and look at uses for magma block, huh? Uses for users. Uses for magma. Jesus. Magma block. Um, oh, you can wear frost, wa frost walker boots. Okay. Jump to usage. Let's jump to usage. So we can put it down. They can damage living entities. They do not destroy items. So really... There's a small light level. Water is placed directly above. There's a... Okay. Magma blocks emit smoke particles under rainfall. Mobs um, avoid magma blocks that are in the way. So basically, you can use these as like a sort of defense system. From what I see. Except for, like, zombie pigment, I'm assuming. So, that's something. Um, 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 um let's put that up there. We, we should really... That's what I should do. I should try and locate some sugar so that we can make an enchanting table. Because we have the obsidian, so we just need the books. Clear out some of our inventory here. Eats. Um, actually, you know what? Let me make a bunch of glowstone blocks, and I guess we're only making nine. That's okay. And we can go up and kind of set these around outside, and it must be days. Seven then. All right. So, put one here. Put one here for the heck of it. I got it. Even though I got it pretty well lit up. Um. Anyway. So, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you guys on on Friday. Until then, peace. Je te ramène des schlacks, ils ont le sida qui te baisse ta mère.